Welcome to this demonstration of how the service provider's customers can use the HTML5 based VMware vCloud Director Tenant Portal to integrate their organization with a Security Assertion Markup Language or SAML based identity provider. In our case, we use the VMware Identity Manager as an identity provider. However, any other third party identity provider that is capable of SAML2 or OAuth can be used within vCloud Director as well. This video focuses on the usage of a SAML-based integrated identity provider. The enablement of your organization to use a local or LDAP-based users and groups will be shown in another video. Before you can start with integrating an identity provider, you must be familiar with the high-level architecture and information flow of a SAML-based single sign-on authentication. Enable your organization to use a SAML identity provider, also called single sign-on, to import users and groups from a SAML identity provider and allow imported users to sign on to the organization with the credential established in the SAML identity provider. With SAML, you have three participating parties a user agent, an identity provider, and a service provider. SAML assertion and artifacts are used between identity provider and service provider to exchange authentication states and attributes in a secure manner. Without the need to actually transfer or store a user's password or other sensitive data. In order for a service provider to accept assertions from an identity provider, a trust relationship must be established. This is done by exchanging data between the identity provider, which is the VMware Identity Manager in our case, and the service provider, in our case the vCloud Director organization. During the authentication assertion, specific vCloud Director relevant information like username, email, name and the role attribute are confirmed. The role attribute is added in case the defer to identity provider role option is selected when a user or a group are assigned to a specific vCloud Director tenant role. To summarize the SAML basics and the high-level flow, our architecture consists of the three earlier mentioned systems. The user agent, an identity provider that uses different directory services like for example Active Directory, ADFS or additionally other multi-factor systems and the service provider. Remember that in the SAML domain, the service provider is referred to as the system from which a user is consuming services. Therefore, the SAML service provider is the vCloud Director organization from which a user is going to interact. In the initial phase, an organization admin needs to create a trust relationship between the identity provider and the service provider. After the trust has been established, and the SAML configuration has been finalized, a user that has been entitled by the identity provider uses a browser to navigate to the unique organization tenant portal URL. A redirection to the identity provider takes place where the proper authentication will be made. After a successful authentication, the user receives a token with the SAML assertion and hands over this token to the vCloud Director organization. If the SAML assertion data is valid, the user is able to interact based on the vCloud Director role that is assigned to the user. During the initial SAML configuration, the user attributes from the authentication source must be mapped to specific attributes. In our case, to integrate a vCloud Director organization with VMware Identity Manager, the organization's Active Directory attributes such as username, email address, Groups and others are mapped to the Identity Manager. Let's have a look how vCloud Director and Identity Manager need to be configured. In this demonstration, the Identity Manager has been configured with a connector to the company's Active Directory. After logging in to the vCloud Director Tenant Portal as an Organization Administrator, navigate to the Administration page. As you can see, Currently only a single local user has been created within this organization. From the left menu, under Identity Providers, select SAML and click Edit.
Click the Regenerate button to regenerate the certificate. Confirm it with OK. And specify an entity ID. Remember, this ID will be used by the identity provider and cannot be changed in the vCloud Director organization after this specification. It is recommended to use the unique organization name. Click the link to download the metadata. This information will later be required to be imported at the identity provider side. Click Save. Let's switch to the VMware Identity Manager to continue the configuration. We are logged in as an administrator. In this demonstration, the Active Directory integration has already been done. We are now going to create a new catalog for the vCloud Director Organization Administrators. The goal is to have quick access from a catalog to the vCloud Director Tenant Portal and to use the Identity Manager as the Identity Provider. Navigate to the Catalog tab and click New. Provide a name. In this case, we use vCloud Director Happy Tenant Organization Administrator and select an icon that will be shown for the end user in the catalog. Click Next. On the configuration page, we keep SAML 2.0 as the authentication type. For the service provider configuration, we insert the XML data that we downloaded in the vCloud Director tenant portal earlier in this demonstration. Provide the link to the vCloud Director tenant portal URL to make sure the user is automatically relayed. vCloud Director requires the URL to be formatted as a base64 string. Convert the URL using any common converter into a proper base64 value and insert it. Expand the advanced properties and turn on Sign Assertion. Include the mapping that is required to map vCloud Director attributes to the Identity Provider attributes. In this demonstration, the catalog object is created for all organization administrators. The vCloud Director role setting, deferred to Identity Provider role, has the effect that vCloud Director will assign the role to a user that has been inserted in the SAML token assertion. Make sure that the SAML insertion string for the role matches exactly the role name that has been configured in vCloud Director. Click Next. Leave the default access policies, click Next, and click Save and Assign. Select the group that should be assigned with this Identity Manager catalog item. In this case, we select Organization Administrators and save the selection to finalize the Identity Provider configuration. From now on, the Identity Provider knows about the vCloud Director Organization's SAML and attribute characteristics but so far, the vCloud Director organization is unaware of the identity provider details. Click Settings and select SAML Metadata to extract the identity provider metadata. Save the identity provider metadata and close the Settings window. Switch to the vCloud Director Tenant Portal and navigate to the SAML Configuration section within your vCloud Director organization. Click Edit and select the Identity Provider tab. Enable the use of the SAML Identity Provider and click Browse to upload the previously downloaded Identity Provider metadata. Click Save. Notice that after refreshing the page, that under Access Control, you are now able to import groups. 
After the SAML configuration, we are now able to define users and groups that are based on the identity provider. Rights associated with the predefined deferred to identity provider role are determined based on the information received from the user's OAuth or SAML identity provider. Notice that if a user was assigned to the deferred to identity provider role, but no matching role or group name is available in the organization, the user can log in to the organization but has no rights. We're now going to import the Active Directory group for the organization administrators from the identity provider. On the Groups page, click Import Groups. Verify that the source is SAML and enter the group name that should be entitled. We can either define a specific role to the group's users or leave the role definition to the identity provider. In this demonstration, we select Defer to the identity provider since the role name has been part of the attribute definition when we created the catalog item within the Identity Manager. Click Save. In the Groups list, you can now see the Organization Admins group with the SAML authentication type. From now on, as soon as you navigate to the organization's vCloud Director Tenant Portal URL, you will get redirected to your organization's identity provider. Log in with a user that is part of the organization administrator group that we have created earlier during the Identity Manager configuration. As you can see in the top right corner, we are now logged in as an organization administrator. With the Identity Manager, we are not just able to use SSO functionality. We can also use the catalog feature of the VMware Identity Manager to offer a unified catalog to all kinds of applications. Once a user navigates to the VMware Identity Manager and logs in, the user has direct access to all of the applications that belong to the user, where, thanks to the SAML integration, only a single sign-on is required. With one click, the user will be automatically logged in to the vCloud Director Tenant Portal, for example, and the account has the proper role assigned that we have configured earlier. Even though you can use LDAP to integrate a vCloud Director organization with a tenant's directory service, the usage of a SAML-based identity provider like VMware Identity Manager offers a lot of advantages. A tenant user has SSO access to the tenant portal. Multi-factor authentication can be established based on conditions. The Identity Manager offers a catalog functionality integrating other software-as-a-service applications besides the vCloud Directed Tenant Portal. The integration with Enterprise Directory services require no vCloud Director service provider actions, and a single identity platform can be used to integrate multiple vCloud Director organizations. Secure and easy connectivity between vCloud Director and the Directory service through Identity Manager connectors and Last but not least, the role-based authentication control is centrally managed by the identity solution. This concludes this demonstration of how an organization can easily and effectively integrate a vCloud Director organization with an identity provider through the vCloud Director Tenant Portal. Thanks for watching.